Hello, my little scientists. We are going to do an experiment today, a super, super fun experiment today. But I have a little confession to make. I forgot to send the email out to your parents to let them know what materials that they were going to need to conduct this experiment with you at home. So, if you don't have all the materials that you need to do this today, that is okay. You're basically going to be off the hook today. All right? So you can, however, continue to watch this video and see what the experiment is about. I'm not going to give anything away. Or you can listen to the video for a couple more minutes, find out what materials that you need, and stop the video, and then get the materials and do the experiment later. It's totally up to you, okay? So the materials that you need for this experiment are, and this is the one that I'm thinking you probably may or may not have is you're going to need some Crisco or this is called all vest vegetable shortening okay and a spoon all right you're also going to need two quart size heavy duty freezer bags I use these ones right here they're from Walmart they're freeze I think these are the freezer ones yeah freezer guard so they're just a little bit thicker and they're kind of important um, for this experiment you are going to need some duct tape. <clears throat> duct tape. You are also going to need a basin of water, cold water, just like we used um, last time. And I'm going to use ice packs, but you can just use regular ice cubes. Totally up to you. I have three big, completely frozen ice packs that I am going to put into my water to make it super, super cold, okay? But ice cubes work just as well, all right? So, that is what you need for materials. So like I said, if you do not have those, that is my fault, and you can stop right now and wait to finish the ex and do the experiment later. If you want to keep watching just to see what I'm going to do, that's okay too. Okay, so glad you all got your materials now. The other thing that I would like you to grab is your science notebook. Anytime that we're doing science together, science notebook is a must. All right? So in school, you know that we are studying beavers because we have a beaver family that lives right behind our school. And so today, just like what you guys did, we had a big discussion about things that we know about beavers and things that we want to know about beavers. And one of the questions that was asked today stemmed from watching the videos that we recorded of our little beavers out behind the school. A little boy today said, the beavers go in and out, in and out, in and out of the water all the time. And it's dark. Don't they get cold? Okay, so that was this little guy's I wonder. He wondered if the beaver got cold. And so we talked about over and over again, everybody gave their idea as to whether or not the beaver gets cold going in and out, in and out, in and out of the water all night long when he's doing his work. And so we had this big discussion, and what I would like you to do right now is get out your science notebook and have your parent, your mom, write on the top, do beavers get cold in freezing water? Why? Because that was basically the question that we ended up generating together. We decided that at nighttime, right now, because it's even been snowing and there's been frost almost every morning, the water is freezing cold. And that beaver is swimming in the water all the time, all night long. So and we have the evidence, the proof, the videos of that. So we know that that's what the beaver's behavior is at nighttime, in the water, out of the water in the water, out of the water. So we want to know what's going on. All right, so now what I want you to do is I want you to pause this video again 
And I want you to take time to think about that question. And then I want you to talk to your mom about it. And then if there's anybody else in your house, an older brother, or um, your dad, or any, a babysitter, whoever is there, talk to them about it. Make sure they don't give away the answer. But tell them what your ideas are. Do you think beavers get cold? Why? Do you think beavers don't get cold? Why? All right? So pause this video. Go have that discussion. Gather your thoughts. And then I want you to draw a picture and tell me your answer on um, Seesaw. So record yourself telling me what you think about beavers getting cold and freezing water. Okay? All right, go ahead and do that right now. All right. So now that you're back and you've had your discussion and you've told me about what your thoughts are about beavers getting cold or not on Seesaw, now we can talk a little bit more. We, um, I had you watch a video yesterday and today, okay? You might not have watched the rest of the video yet, or you might have watched the whole video yesterday. I don't know what you did. But if you did watch the whole video, there is a really, really, really big clue that answers our question, almost totally answers our question. And it's right at the 19, I think it was 19 minutes and 15 seconds. So if you go back and look at that video, at the 19 minute and 15 second part, okay? And you watch it for about 40, 50 seconds, right? You're gonna hear a possible answer to our question about whether or not beavers get cold, okay, in freezing water. So again, if you would like to pause this video and go to the beaver video, and find the 19 minute and 15 second mark. Yes, you're going to have to have an adult or an older sibling help you do that. And watch that little section. And then come back to me. All right. So we just did some research. You going back to a resource, finding the information, all right, and then reporting back to me. That is called doing research. And I hope you got your answer because I know that I heard the narrator in that film say that inside their den, it's nice and warm and cozy. And he also said that a thick layer of fat under the beaver's fur and on the beaver's tail also helps keep the beavers warm. And then there was a, um, some words that popped up and a little caption. And hopefully somebody read those words to you. And it said that beavers have oily fur that makes their fur waterproof. Okay? So if you didn't catch all of that, go back and listen again. Okay? All right. So what we are going to do today is we are going to make a blubber glove. Can you say a blubber glove? All right, this is a blubber glove. Okay? I'm going to show you step by step how to make this blubber glove. And then we're going to conduct our experiment. Okay? So my water's over there getting woo, freezing cold. I have got my two bags. This is where we're going to start. Follow what I do step by step. Make sure your mom or dad or older sibling or whoever you have with you today is right next to you to do this, okay? Because you are going to need their help. Okay, so this is something that I think you can do. I want you to open up the bag and turn it inside out. Just one bag. Turn it inside out. And make sure you stick your finger inside Make sure you get the whole bag inside out, like that. Keep it on your hand, okay? We're going to take the other bag, open it up. And yeah, I just opened it with, uh, with this uh, plastic bag on my hand. And this is, you know, this is all you can do this. It might get a little tricky and finicky, but you can do it. I want you to take your inside out bag 
and put it inside the other bag. Okay? Just like that. All right? Just like that. All right. Now, this is the part that you're probably going to need the most help with. So now we have a bag inside of a bag, okay? So this is the outer bag. This is the top of the inside bag, and it kind of creates a pocket. You see that? In that pocket, on the outside of the inner bag, we are going to stuff some Crisco. I'm going to give you a little hint here. Crisco, if you look at Crisco, it's fat. That's what Crisco is. Say fat. All right. So we are going to take our spoon and this kind of works easier if your Crisco, like if your house is really, really cold, you might want to put the heat on for a minute. You don't want the Crisco to like melt, but it is easier to work with. Uh, it's not so hard for them to scoop out of the container if it's kind of on the warm side. So I'm going to just have this one flap open. All the rest I have down here because I don't want to get, I do not want to get any Crisco inside that bag that we have inside out. We don't want Crisco in that bag. We want it in there. Okay? So we're going to fill it up pretty good. I'm going to take some nice big scoops, like ice cream scoops. I'm going to try and not get it all over the sides, even though it's you know, it's going to get a little messy, but this is where your parents are going to be really helpful for you. All right, and we're going to stuff it in there. So maybe you do a scoop, mom does a scoop, you do a scoop, mom does a scoop. Okay, and get it in. Big scoop. And it goes. I would say about four scoops, four nice good sized scoops, like that, that would be good. All right, now, you can pause this video anytime you want to, um, to keep up with me. Now you're gonna do the same thing on the other side, so flip it over, here's where my vat is, I'll put it down in my hand, and then I'm gonna lift the very top bag flap here. Okay, see that? So now my bag that I turned inside out is still in there, but there's no Crisco inside of it. It's on the outside of it. All right, so now I'm gonna fill this opening with Crisco, okay? And if you get Crisco on your hands and whatnot, it's okay. It comes right off with a little bit of dish soap and hot water. All right, so I'm gonna fill that section. Ooh, Mrs. Lewis really stuffed this one good. I stuffed it more than my last one because I didn't think I put enough Crisco in my last one, so I want to make sure I got a lot in this one. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit more. Okay, I got a lot of Crisco in here, like too much, probably. Mine's a little messy too. It's okay. Kindergarten's messy. I love science. Science is messy. All right. So now what we're going to do, and again, you're going to need an adult to help you do this part, is now that we have that bag on the inside, it's inside out. So now we can, one, get a napkin and kind of clean up the edges a bit. Try to get some of the excess Crisco off okay a little bit all right and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna seal the zips now that because of that inside bag is inside out we can zip the bags up on both sides so I just zipped this side and now I'm going to seal this side just like that and so that's going to keep the Crisco where the Crisco is supposed to be. Okay. 
And yes, I've got Crisco all over my hands too. It's okay. No big deal. If you have baby wipes, baby wipes are like super helpful with this. It like totally breaks down the Crisco. All right, so this is a great time once you've got this sealed to go and wash your hands and then maybe take a paper towel and some hot soapy water and try to get some of the Crisco off of the edges because we really only want the Crisco inside, okay? So I'm actually gonna go do the same thing so you don't have to pause the video because we're both gonna leave the camera right now, okay? There. If you're not back yet, now you might want to pause the video. <laughs> All right, so next step. We're going to roll this flap down one time like that. Okay? And I know it's a little tricky with all that Crisco in there to be rolling these things down, but it's necessary. And I'm going to grab a paper towel because my bag is still just a little bit wet. I'm just going to dry this rim really good. Okay. I'll do my best. Okay. So as you can see with my first bubble blubber glove, is now after you roll the flap down, we're going to duct tape it. Okay? So that is the next step. Let's see if you can see what I'm doing here. Alright. So get that duct tape. And I'm sorry parents, this is more of a parent setup thing than the kids, but I promise you the kids are going to love it when, when it's all made. And they're really going to get what this is all about. Okay, so that's one side. I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to do the same thing. Make sure you really push and get that duct tape sealed on there good. All right, so once you get the duct tape on, now we get to smash it because we want to spread all that blubber out, all that fat out evenly, all right? And this is also good to help warm up. So we want to get the, the blubber right out to the corners. You see that? Get it right out to the corners, okay? Just push it down. This is really good for the kids' fingers and hand strength and all of that. All right? And what you end up with is a glove, a, bubber, a blubber glove. Now, if you look inside and you can still see through um, the bag, 
like that, you need to you need to keep pushing. You need to get that. And so on one side of mine, I put more Crisco than the other, but that's okay. I can still spread this right through. We don't need all the blubber on the top. We actually need it kind of pushed down. So if you've got a bunch of blubber up here, really push it down. And this is good for the kids. The kids should be doing this part, okay? This is good for their fingers and their hands and their muscles and all of that stuff, right? And pushing, pushing it. It's kind of like getting that last bit of toothpaste out of the tube. You just got to get it out right before you throw the tube away. All right, so that looks pretty good. I can stick my hand in there, and I really don't see my hand. Maybe in this one little spot I can see my hand. But honestly, that's good. See that? All right, so now, well, I have two blubber gloves because I had to make one to remember how to make it, and then I just made one with you. And so what do you think we're going to do with this blubber glove and the water? Hmm? Do you need to go back to the video and see what the narrator said about the layer of fat that's under the fur of a beaver? And let's think about my question. Do beavers get cold in freezing water? So if the narrator said that beavers have a thick layer of fat or blubber under their fur, and we have a tub of freezing water, what could we do? Think about it. Generate some ideas. Pause the video. Don't do anything. Talk it out. All right. So now that you're back, I hope you decided that your hand is going to be the beaver. The beaver has a layer of fat over its body. Okay, a layer of fat and fur, but we're not going to do fur right now, okay? And so let me get my water. Let me take my ice packs out because now my water is cold, 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 cold. What I want you to do, and if you do have ice, this actually works incredibly well with ice too. I'm going to keep one ice pack in. What I want you to do is I want you to take your hand and I want you to put it in the water for as long as you can. For as long as you can. Now, if you have ice water happening in there, like real ice cubes, this is going to get very uncomfortable very fast. My hand already hurts. I'm already wanting to take it out. This is very, very, very cold. I had three ice packs in here. Right now I only have one. Ooh, okay. I'm ready to take my hand out. That's too cold for me. All right. So, if the beaver didn't have a layer of fat on its body, my hand doesn't have a lot of fat on it. I'm sure it has a little bit, but it doesn't have a lot, okay? I think the beaver would be really cold. So now, let's be beavers, okay? I'm going to dry off my hand because we don't want the inside of our, of our glove to get wet. Say that with me. We don't want the inside of our glove, our blubber glove, to get wet. So dry off the hands, okay? I've got a towel right here. Okay. Now, beavers up. You're a beaver, okay? Put on your fat. I'm making a fist, so your hands are a lot smaller than mine, okay? So I'm going to make a fist. If you want to make a fist, go ahead. I'm going to make a fist, but your hands are so small, you can probably put your whole hand in there and be fine. But I'm going to make a fist. All right. 
Now, don't go too deep. Like I said, I don't want the, the water spilling into the glove. We want to keep inside the glove dry. Ready? Into the water we go. How long can we stay in now? Let me tell you what, my hand's not cold yet. Is yours? By this time, I was already feeling the pain. So, do beavers get cold in freezing cold water? Why? Back to your science notebook and answer the question with what you have learned today about fat, also known as blubber. Look at where my hand still is. I cannot wait to hear what you have to say about this experiment. And then you can go and teach other people about it. You have a blubber glove now. Teach dad. Teach your brother. Teach whoever you see every single day. Teach them. Ask them. Do it just like I did. I wish I had blubber. I do have some, but I don't have a lot. I would be freezing cold in the water right now. Have fun. Can't wait to hear from you on Seesaw.